Hello guys, yesterday in the video I presented to you a new feature of Laravel 9.32 called Benchmark DD. And today I want to explain to you how it works under the hood because it's a great example of using Laravel collections and have elegant code like this. So this is the actual source of Measure and DD, which is in class Benchmark by Taylor Otwell himself. And this is elegant code, which can teach us all how collection methods work and how to have one sentence with a lot of logic inside. So let's kind of debug that code part by part. I will explain what is what and what are the parameters and the returns. So first the measure feature, first of course benchmark DD is the method that we call from our controller or wherever and then it calls the measure, the same class measure function because I imagine in the future there will be something more on top of DD, so measure will be kind of the main feature, the main function, and then you can DD or log it somewhere or something like that. So measure is the actual function that does all the measurement. And interesting thing, benchmarkables can be closure or can be an array and how it is processed with this. So the actual function returns average, so returns a number of seconds, how much it takes, but average from what? Average from the collection. And that collection of benchmarkables is, if benchmarkables is a closure, then we take only the first of that closure. Otherwise, we take the array and do all of that. So in any case, we have a collection. So instead of having if statement here, there's when on the collection. So that's an example of using when method. Then let's dissect it one by one. Array wrap is a helper of Laravel, so benchmarkables can be a single closure or array of sentences, and array wrap transforms it into array anyway. If it's one element, it becomes array of one element. If it's already an array, it doesn't do anything. So we transform it into array, then we transform it into collection to use collection methods on it. Then we map through that collection and each sentence, which may be one sentence or multiple sentence, which becomes a callback. Then we call that callback inside of that function. So inside of the map, we iterate how many times we want to benchmark. This is one of the parameters to that. Measure NDD iterations by default one. So we iterate how many times we want to do that. And this is range from one to iterations. So in case of just one sentence, it would be launched only once, but it still will be a collection, a collection of this result inside of that callback function. It measures the time before, it measures the time after and returns the result execution time in milliseconds. So we return milliseconds in one case, then if it's more than one iteration, it is added to the collection. And then from those, we have average, another collection method. So see how elegant the code is, and it's actually one sentence of return instead of having if for each and other loops. So I thought to shoot this video as kind of a perfect example of how you can use collections extensively to perform something like this. I became quite a big fan of using collections, not necessarily like this extensively, but especially in the cases where you need to have more than one action on the collection or on the array and you can chain them. That's the most probably significant advantage of collections that you can chain the method instead of having separate sentences. And I have more examples on this in one of my recent courses. It's called Laravel Collection Chains 15 Real Examples with examples like this of unique filter, map, and other popular collection methods. All those examples are from real projects, most from open source projects on GitHub. So if you want to dive deeper into practical collection chaining, I recommend this course. The link will be in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.